going on, everyone? What is going on to a, another episode of Barfy and the Bash Brigade? You got me, Barfy. The the gentleman to the other side of me is the ever so handsome, the left nut to my right, not the bald bastard. <laughs> and with us is the ass master himself, Mr. Ryan. What's up, brother? How you doing? Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> so, DJ farts a lot. DJ yeah. farts a lot. <laughs> the ass master. His master makes it sound really bad. I mean, I, I've exactly. had worse names. I, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, we all, yeah, we've we've called you worse names. Oh, we've. I mean, everyone calls me worse names. That's one thing I do like about my friends is that we terrorize everybody. <laughs> nobody equally. Is, nobody no, escapes the, the wrath. Yeah, nobody is safe from from ball busting and all that stuff. And uh, right, sometimes it gets a little bit offensive, and you know, oh well. <laughs> You know, I, I grew up in an era where you could crack jokes and everybody knew it was a joke and not being an asshole. Because I believe in equality. <laughs> everybody is equal to getting fucking made fun of. <clears throat> okay, Boomer. Fuck your feelings. <laughs> Fuck your feelings. <laughs> oh, hell no! Oh, so, my Lord. <laughs> as, as we do not, we're not doing out, we're not doing shots of whiskey this week because we tend to get a little drunk. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that happened. You know when no, they get, no. You, you know when they get that maple syrup and they get they tend to get a little antsy. <laughs> no, the 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 maple uh maple syrup. The shot of whiskey last week wasn't terrible. It was the anniversary show and that shot of uh uh what do you call it? Utopias. Utopias. Holy shit. Oh yeah. It was, that was floored bad. me. I still need to try that. Oh my god. It's terrible. But I'll take your word for yeah, it. It's, you don't know. You're not missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> you can take a look at a Tebow and stick your head of a butcher's ass. Wouldn't you take the cow's word for it? You mean the butcher? You know, we should try it 10 years from now, so I'm sure Joe will still have it. 10 years from now? <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> that along with a whole fridge full of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like that that maniacal laugh that he has when you when you say something. Oh. It was all a dream. I used to read Dirt Up Magazine. <laughs> They're gonna make a horror movie about you for collecting beer. <laughs> this is all the breweries make these beers and then go to Joe's house to die. I'll watch it. Did you touch my utopias? <laughs> Nobody touches my utopias. <laughs> Just starts like killing people. <laughs> Just <laughs> Let me smell your breath. Let me smell your breath. You drink my utopias. You didn't drink my utopias, did you? Goddamn lie, I smell on your the, breath. The fact that jo- Joe was trying to like uh, defend it, you know, he was like, ah, oh, it's good. It's supposed to be like this. I'm like, still tastes terrible. That was not. Yeah, no, no. It's it's supposed to. It is, but. It tastes like a. I don't know. Shit. It tasted like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do yourself a favor, folks. Do not buy Sam Adams Utopias for two hundred hours, whatever the fuck it was. It's not worth. Just, just don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Buy two hundred dollars worth of good beer. Get a get a dumb friend like me, and let them buy it. Right. And then you taste it. And then you just tell them that it's terrible. Yeah, or if you're a nice friend, you tell them it tastes delicious. Um, but you don't want any more. Yeah, well, worth every <laughs> penny, bud. Yeah. <laughs> You should go out and buy more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have all the other friends taste it, not me, though. Not me. You know it, it's, it's really funny. The best is when you meet a stranger and you talk about craft beer and they're like, You ever have Treehouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I get this stuff called Treehouse. You're going to love it. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I, I drove up there. It looks like Jurassic Park as you're going through the fucking entrance. We can get yep. it, pal. Yep. But did you ever have Treehouse? <laughs> oh, nobody gives a shit. So, <laughs> so, so the ball bastard loves his farts. Wow, look at that beer. I'm sorry. Speaking of beer, sorry, I got distracted. Look at that. It's blue. It's like blue. It's blue. Oh, sorry, I got very distracted very quickly. <laughs> oh, ADD much? Oh, hey, <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Um, I do love farts. Yeah, so so Ryan is is the the man behind some of the farts that <laughs> we've used in the past. Uh, for a while, he was like he was vegan and you know oh eating vegan food. Oh my god, uh, Ryan! If you want, you get that get that microphone close to your mouth so I can actually hear you better. Just not close to your butt. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> keep it away from your rectum. Please, yeah. please keep it away from your rectum. I right, might as well try. You just turned your microphone off. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. Came okay. back on. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure, yeah, you want to get, it's a, it's a unidirectional microphone, so you got to be like up in it and like, 
You're gonna be all up. In yeah, that have it facing you. Yeah, like yeah, you want that big, big black furry thing, <laughs> <laughs> that big fuzzy thing right yeah. near your your mouth hole. Um, but yeah, so Ryan does the, the, the like he was on this diet and he he just on command, dude. You just this 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 sound would come out of him that that is just offensive. It, it was offensive and funny at the same time. Some of that shit just reverberated <laughs> off the fucking tile. So, yeah, it's we, a long it's a long history. I, I started in second grade. I remember I had a teacher, <laughs> Sister Romana, and I remember <laughs> this is in Catholic school. I just remember farting, <laughs> and I made my friend laugh, and she was like, "So and so, it's not funny." Like he was getting in trouble for something, and yeah, that's when it started. I remember second grade. It was like. Uh, like it started then. It was. I still remember to this day. I was like, oh, "This is funny." When, <laughs> like, yeah, when farts were funny. Yeah, and, and and it carried on to like even junior year. I remember I was taking like a U.S. It was history. At this moment that he knew <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, junior year. It was a uh, U.S. history one exam. It was the end, and I just fucking ripped a huge one, man. It was fucking awesome, <laughs> man. And the teacher was pissed, and I couldn't stop. That's the worst, you know, when you were in class, you know, and you had to fart, you know, and you're like, oh, God, you know, like it's all quiet, and you're like, oh, shit. my environmental science teacher was like, oh, there's a duck again. I remember I was in a, I was in an eighth grade class with uh, her name was Miss Yarling. She was our social studies teacher. She, oh my God. literally looked like the old grandmother lady from uh, something about Mary. She was the hippie, hippie one, right? Big old hippie, yeah. hippie man. Yeah. That there's definitely a joint or two in her, that. Yeah, I had her for home, home. Uh, I almost said homecoming. You, you, you took her to home, <laughs> her to homecoming. <laughs> oh, back in my day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, boomer. we used to take the teachers to homecoming. <laughs> I wish I had teachers like that I, in my day. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> took your mom to the prom and got lucky. <laughs> uh, but she. So we were watching this thing about the ancient Egypt and all that bullshit, the Egyptians and. And it was like a woman's life was to go to these temples and find this temple. And like on her 92nd birthday, she finally went to this temple and everything. She was all so happy. And then she died that night. And I didn't help it, but I fucking cracked. It was just like <laughs> the hours after she saw these pyramids, she passed away. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you know, that's not funny. Yeah. I'm like, yes, it is. That's, that's the direct definition of irony. You spend your life fucking trying to do something and then you die right after you. You can't even tell your kids about it. Yeah. Hey, remember the time I saw the pyramid? No, you can't tell because you're fucking dead. That's true. I agree. <laughs> Also, I'm not sure what this has to do with farts, but uh, but I agree it's, with this. It's it. the goal of in school, like, <laughs> teachers, like pissing off teachers. Yeah, yeah it's easy to piss off teachers. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, I used to. They used to hate me. You know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know. They why. hated you. I'm pretty sure they want to kill me. Uh, Jeez, I believe that. I, that I think most, most of my teachers by senior year were just like, just go to the band room and don't bother. Me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got a B in most of my classes because I just went to band. Like, I'm giving you a B for band. See you later. Give me a B for band. And I had a work release, and that was it. So I was dating uh, I was dating a senior when I was a freshman, and uh, so I had a beeper. And uh, selling, she worked at the mall. He was selling drugs. He was <laughs> selling had, drugs. I had a one. beeper, and it would go off in class. And, uh, dude, I'm so, at that time, like that's what that's what everybody thought. Like, if you had a beaver, you were selling drugs. Oh, they got course. pulled out of class multiple times because it was like, "Well, you guys are getting out of there." I'm like, "Okay, like, what do you, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Who gives a shit?" I'm a I'm a doctor, right? Right, right. right. So, sorry, I have to take this. I'm a recreational <laughs> gynecologist. Get it right. <laughs> look, I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look. Was uh, it your hair doctor back then? <laughs> no, um, yeah, I fired him. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> Did you have Dr. Kevorkian on that? So, oh my God. Hey. <laughs> you know. Well, then I wouldn't be the bald bastard, you know? You would and then not be the bald bastard. Would you be would be a, just a I would bastard. just be a bastard. <laughs> you bastard. You, you think a, we would even be friends if you were bald? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Me, if I wasn't bald? I don't think so. No, nah, nah. you're right. That's no. very true. Because yeah. then, then I wouldn't then I would know how to make fun of you. No. I mean, it couldn't be for the seven kids you have <laughs> or... You know the, the the camping constantly, or yeah. or all the, the all the meat that you like to smoke and all that stuff. Well, or I married your cousin, so I mean we we were kind of uh, yeah. 
and I was it's really sad out of the 27 grandkids and cousins that I that are like whatever you're the only one I kind of can stomach <laughs> and you're not tech and you're not blood so you know I like that you said kind of thanks what kind of? <laughs> you're the only one that I can kind of stomach right I mean that's okay that's okay it's fair to yeah. be fair uh, to be fair <laughs> speaking of to be fair the beer I chugged at the beginning of this is called to be fair, <laughs> by Night Shift Brewing. Except I didn't pay attention to the canning date, and it's from 310. Oh, 21. my God. And it's 311. Almost 311. Uh, yeah, and, just, and just as bad. That was gross. <laughs> it, it's lagered. It tastes lagered. That's all. It tasted. I mean, it looked good when you poured it. It, it did, but it's just got this weird lager oh, taste to it. Oh, yeah. It's, it, tastes like, it smells like malty. <clears throat> yeah. Like Steve. <laughs> That was a bad joke. I know, but I felt like I had to say it. I mean, yeah, I gr- you know? granted. Yeah. So, oh god, yeah. Mm, to no. be fair, is oh no, that's not good. At oh, all. To be fair, uh, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. It was not good. No, no sir, I don't no, like it. No, not at all. So now, now I got this blue beer. How's that blue beer over there? You try it. What are we doing with our lives right now? I'm so confused. I don't even know what we're talking about. I don't know what we're talking about either. Okay, we're, we're, we're all over the place. Ryan's yeah. like, this is what you guys fucking do every week? <laughs> this, this is exactly what we do. <laughs> Absolutely Literally. nothing. Literally. Oh, man, Bitcoin's taking a drop. Not that it matters to any of us because we can't afford Bitcoin. <laughs> hey, you see that Bitcoin drop? No, I can't fucking afford it. <laughs> I got, I got I had Doge. Some Doge. Coin. Oh, yeah, I had some Dogecoin. I yeah. still have it, actually. It's, I probably have... Uh, uh, Twelve dollars, <laughs> Dogecoin. And how so much money did you bought, put into it? I bought it right at the fucking peak, like a dumbass. Oh, so like forty bucks. I didn't put a lot into it because I knew it was. I knew it was too late to buy it. You put four dollars of Dogecoin, and you only have twelve dollars worth. No, I was joking. I think I have more than twelve. I'll tell you, but <clears throat> not a lot. Do you, do you do the investment game? Uh, Thirty-two sixty-seven right now. So you lost eight dollars. Yep. That's okay. So did I. I put it. In- <laughs> Monahan, Monahan, uh, he he is big on this coin thing, this big, the Bitcoin and the digital currency, and he's he's got me on this. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the hell it's called. I know it's it's ADA, whatever whatever that that is. Uh, Cardano, that's what it's called. Cardano, Cardano, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. And he's like, you got to use a good man is dropping. You got to get it. I'm going, yeah. The whole fucking digital currency market just took a fucking dump. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is, yes. You want to buy it now if you're going to do it and then let it sit for 10 fucking years. Well, I was going to say, I mean, that was part of the reason why I was like, you know what? I'll put some money into it, see how it goes. And then I'm like, well, I'm not going to, um, it's going down. I'm not going to sell it now. I might as well wait. It's going eventually, down, eventually, down. It's still like super cheap, right? It's like right. 30 cents or something like that. So, but yeah, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? If it ever goes up. I, I, I spend more in beer than I do. Like, like investing. I could have bought like a hundred shares of Dogecoin for the price of this fucking a four mm. pack of this shit. So, like five thousand oh. shares. <laughs> yeah, I got five thousand shares of Dogecoin. <laughs> I don't know. I have a. I have a um, Calls me a dollar twenty five. I have a dollar twenty five. Dollar twenty five, uh, Bishop. I have a friend who um who had like at some point I think he had like twenty five thousand dollars in Dogecoin. <laughs> he bought it when it was like point zero 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 one. Mm-hmm. Per you know Dogecoin or whatever it was, so he bought. I don't even know. It probably wasn't even that much. Probably only put like fifty bucks in or something. And yeah, he had like twenty five grand. Now I don't know if he sold it or not, but like yeah. now, 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 um, now it's back down, right? I mean, I'm sure he probably has uh, he's 12, got 15 or something in it. Uh, now, he's still profiting, but still, like, dude, I would have as soon as it hit like fifty cents. It was. I mean, it, it crept up to like around fifty cents. I would have fucking sold it. Yeah. Bye. Uh, so about about you know, that's a lot of fucking money, man. Let's see. About I was like twenty two, twenty three. I was in a band with this guy. This guy's complete fucking nut job, whacked out of his fucking gourd. Um, Which is why you got along so well. No, no. He made me look like normal, as normal as normal can be. <laughs> and all right, keep talking. I don't, I already don't believe your story now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So so <laughs> when, he's crazier than you. Dude, he thought he was related to Italian royalty. Um, he's like, I, 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 I was able to date back all to the Egyptians. I'm like, the fuck you did, man. You know, and and oh he, he was a flat earther. 
He's a flat. Actually, you know, I, I take my statement back about make, wow. making fun of everybody equally. If you're a flat earther, you're not even worth my time making fun of you. Which <laughs> you, the uh, Corky from Life Goes On, has, I have more respect for. Because I love no, I love flat earthers though. No, I just, no, I do. No, no, they 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 have a bus on their own. And they need to. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? You good? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're like, oh, I see. Are you trying to bring it closer to your face? No, I was just trying to move it a little bit. <laughs> you can bring it closer to your face. No, he's good. I oh, know. I'm good. He's good. Man. Okay. He's good. Well, so he he we he was telling me about this Bitcoin, and he's like, "Oh, come on, man. We'll just put a hundred bucks in each." And it was at like zero 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 one whatever. Oh, and really? Uh, you yeah. fucked that up. That happened. Yeah. This is back, back, back in the day when I was playing music. And well, so put a hundred, put a hundred bucks in. Yeah, but that back then, I, I don't know. You couldn't just buy Bitcoin. You had to mine it. Yeah, right. He he. I don't he know knew what, how to do that. He shit did all that shit. He was sat on the computer staring at Illuminati videos. Yeah, all day I don't. Long. Uh, fair enough. That's true. Um, I thought he was bullshit. I'm like, God, my neighbor knows how to mine Bitcoin or whatever. I don't. He just, I don't know. He's into that shit. I guess. Right. I don't know. I barely know how to use this shit. All the stuff that you're seeing on this screen here, folks, like, like, you know, I don't know how to do any, most of the, most of the shit, it's like I stare at YouTube the, and just- Put the boot bastard up there. You know. <laughs> you know how to do that. I, of course I know how to do, <laughs> I know how to do that. I mean- hey. Where's she at? There she is. Hey! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just right over my face. <laughs> I mean, just, just lean, lean to your left, lean to your right a little bit and just- you're, you're, Which, oh, hey, there I am. Can't say Ryan at all, though. It's okay. <laughs> You got the boot so, bastards. So speak, <laughs> and then you got this this gem too. You know, you know. Oh yeah, that's hey, our swag. There's some swag there. I yeah, like it. Look huh? at that. That, that 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 hot piece of ace right there too. Hot piece of ace. Dear God, that is one fine piece of ace. I would definitely tongue punch her fart box. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I'm sure, I, there, I'm sure you have. I would go Governor Cuomo on that one. I'm just saying. Oh my lord, <laughs> uh, dude, that's bullshit. <laughs> I did not hit her. <laughs> did you? I, I didn't hit her. I just gave her a little pat on the ass. <laughs> so, so uh, speaking of crazy people, right? So that's your boy, though, Dan. <laughs> but no, stop it. All right, so, <laughs> no, 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 wait, you can't go off to the rails on just subjects like that. Um, speaking of crazy people, so years ago, when I first bought my my big ass van, um, big ass van, I needed to get a uh, head unit installed, right? <clears throat> oh, I remember this. So, um, my cousin Glenn was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I went to high school with this guy <laughs> and he'll do it for like real cheap. He's got this, you know, shop, you know, down fucking, I don't even know where. Bridgeport. And he's Bridgeport. Yeah. So he's like, it's, he's like, yeah, oh, it's weird just, down there. He goes, <laughs> <Andrew's playing. laughs> he goes, he goes, here's the card. It's a card from 20 years ago. You know, but he's like, here's the card. He saws his, his wallet. Crazy Chuck is his name, right? So, and I'm like, okay, I'll call the dude up, right? So I've got, like I said, 2001 Chevy Express um, fucking van, right? So I call him up and it's like, I said, oh, Glenn, you know, you went to high school with him. He suggested I call you uh, for a head unit and, you know, maybe, you know, whatever else. And he's like, yeah, what do you got? And I'm like, I got a, you know, conversion van. He's like, oh, fuck. Fuck that, man! I'm not doing that shit. He's like, oh, I said. Fuck. He's like, ah. Oh, he starts. He just starts going. I'm like, first of all, I'm calling like basically what I assume is like a business owner, almost. Nope, nope right? not, not at all. And, and he's like, fuck that, man! What the fuck? I'm not doing that shit. And I'm like, okay, just I was just calling to see whether you wanted to do it. He's just yelling at me, and I'm like, I don't know. He's like, well, you know, whatever. He's like, it's like a one and a half din thing, and I'm like, no, dude, I think it's a. Too thin. I don't know, man. I'm like, you want you want my fucking money or what, <laughs> you dumb asshole? Like, so anyway, so we go back and forth for a little while, and it, you know, he ends up, yeah, he ends up agreeing to do it. He's like, all right, bring it down. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I'm like, okay. I had already had the head unit, right? I remember picking you up from here. So I, so I had the head unit. I drive down there, and I call Joe, and I'm like, hey, Joe, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> meet me down there, right? I'm like, meet me down there. I wish I had a banjo sound effect. I know. Ding, 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 ding. It, but it was like banjo sound effects, but also die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, well, die in that place. So, you, so, I, so, yeah. I, so I'm like, all right, I meet me down there and pick me up. And, so I'm going to drop my van off, right? So I get down there and I pull up and there's these, there, there's a fucking Chevy Caprice or, you know, some big, big old sedan, you know, with a, 
the trunk pops and fucking giant wolfers in the back or you know some oh, wolfers oh, or whatever. Oh, that was an impala. It that was, was an impala. It was probably an impala. Yeah, yeah. I remember I'm sorry. that. So so and and I walk into a house. It's just a house with like a little you know uh, thing next to it, and there is a white dude just screaming, screaming. I don't even know what he's talking about, but he's yelling. He's like Joe. Anytime, you know, but anyway, so he's just yelling. Joe, you yell. Anyway, so he's. I never yell. <laughs> you know, I, I find that very offensive. And then you would say that I yell. Three, three big Puerto Rican guys that look like they would beat the shit out of me who were looking at Crazy Chuck with the same kind of fear that I would look at them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They were like, well, I got a backstory this, on that. I this know fucking why. guy's crazy, me. right? He was, dude, he was nuts. Hey, crazy Carl. <laughs> I actually had a decent experience with him. So yeah. I, um, did you get your Prius service there? No. <laughs> I tried the Prius, Prius here. Did you, get it right now. did you get your Prius service I, there? It doesn't service cars. <laughs> I brought the wifey's Prius tonight. We have, me and Joe have the exact same year and the exact same color. It's exactly the same fucking car. Same <laughs> car. <laughs> Oh my lord! There's a Prius train outside. <laughs> it's a Prius train, and we have to use artificial train sounds because it's just an electric car, and we don't want to drain the battery. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, real quick, so I was at Shoprite and I was driving down the aisle of the parking lot, and this that's so quiet. Wait, the car. Oh, so you're driving down the par- uh, parking lot? You almost aisle, ran. Sorry. Yeah, you almost ran somebody over. Yeah, the lady almost <laughs> walked into the Prius. That's how quiet it is. I was like, oh shit! They couldn't hear the noise. It, it actually makes a noise when it's in electric mode, so people know it's it's coming up. It sounds like something out of fucking Star Wars. It's, yeah. It's, Coming across it does sound kind of cool, like though. The, like the Jetsons, like uh, what? Like the. <laughs> so anyway, I sold my Cadillac to Carvana. They paid off the entire loan, and so I bought a '97 Subaru Legacy station wagon. Ooh! <laughs> did, did, tell me, you got the stickers already? When what? did you? When did you become a softball coach? <laughs> Are you are you a ninth grade gym teacher? Well, I didn't see your Bernie Sanders sticker on that Prius uh, yet. No, I got no, mine. No, no. Now, I'm, I'm, I want to get. I told you, I want to get stickers made that say "Feel the Barf." Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I like Bernie Sanders. He's he is the uh, the political um, Mel Brooks. He's the political Mel Brooks. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I am once again asking for your financial <laughs> support. <laughs> Sorry. I wish you gave me a hint so I could turn that volume up. <laughs> yeah, so I... Swag, swag, Bernie Sanders. Swag. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Go ahead, sorry. I, I called uh, Crazy Chuck. My experience was a little different. He, um... I called him and he was like... I forget. He just was like... He's so well, like... He almost seems like he's ADHD, but he's not. Like, it's weird. So he was like... He's like, oh, can you come here now? Like, or right now? I was like... <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm only like 10 minutes away. He's like, yeah, hey, hey, just come down. So I came down and then like same situation. There was like two groups of different guys, two different vehicles. And like, he was giving them shit, you know, but they like respect him for some reason. Cause oh, I guess yeah, they, they, they get, do. they get like good deals. Fear him or something. Yeah, they're like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> no fury, like a crazy white but guy. He's like, yeah. <laughs> like, but he's like, yeah, the whole, the whole hood comes around here. Chester, Wilmington, oh, you know, Philly. It, he's like, but he's like, you know, they don't give me shit though. I can give them shit because, you know, I, you know, give them good deal and shit. And, um, oh, all that shit's hot. Like, I walk, I remember, I remember when Dan called me to tell me to oh, pick I him up. Oh, I got information on that, by the way. Oh. So, so Dan calls me to pick him up. And this place has a giant, like a brand new Sunoco sign, a subway sign <laughs> in this fucking shit hole <laughs> shack. It is, it is hills have eyes. It is, it is. It's it's fucking scary because the house is dilapidated and yep. the fucking barn uh, the garage looking thing looks like something that I would have built out of fucking pallets. Yep. Just Google it. Yeah. It'll come right up. <laughs> I'm serious, I swear to God, there's yeah. pictures. Just just Google Crazy Chuck I, in Bridgewater, New Jersey. I Bridgeport. Was like, I was waiting for Bridgeport. I was waiting for Joe to come and uh, he's got cameras like all outside and you can oh, see yeah. them. They're like big cameras. He's legit. And I was, <laughs> was going to take a picture of all those signs. This is actually kind of impressive. He had a shitload of signs, and I really wanted to take a picture. But at the same time, I didn't want to do that because I was afraid he's going to come out and kick my ass. Because, uh, dude, I'm telling you, this guy was nuts. But yeah, he's not like a salesman type. Because I mentioned no. about like, so he gave me a really good deal. He like took out my radio. He gave me a radio for a Bluetooth radio for 110 with that's with insulation. So that wow. was like a good ass deal. 
And I mentioned about a backup camera, but like he doesn't want to do certain work. No, though. he's he like he's not it. like that kind of salesman. He's, he's like, like, nah, he's like fuck that. that. I ain't trying to do that. No. <laughs> I ain't beat for that. Fuck. But, but he was a uh, no. He was a really cool dude though. Like he's definitely really smart. Knows what he's done. But he's oh, yeah. uh, he's pretty nutty. Oh, and he's, he's older. Yeah. yeah. He, no. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. definitely old. yeah. He's, yeah, he's cleanse like age. cleanse age and. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's so you got a dude nuttier than squirrel shit, fucking just doing deals at the back of a fucking murder shit. So what's the what's the deal? Did you get? The oh, he on? uh, owns some kind of Chinese company, like car audio company. I don't know. That's what he mentioned. So I think um, Menace, Glenn, cool. correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, when you watch this one day or listen to it, I think uh, listen to it next week. His uh, he he will. He's oh, I think he's only like one or two podcasts back. Uh, so anyway, he. Uh, I think his family comes from money or something like that. Like I think his parents had money, but like he chose, uh, he chose to like I don't I don't remember exactly. But what, I did he was, did he choose to go straight? No, but he no, told me he, he told I me meant, he told me he's got a Bentley. That's what I mean. I and think, he, like, I think his Ferrari. family has money, and this is what he does. But that's what I mean. Like, but he said he had. I think he said his rentals. I don't know. Who well, I mean, those? well, so pretty my much point this is, is the front. He, Literally, this guy is faking the front. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. He's pretty dedicated. <laughs> he's pretty dedicated. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, but think about it. He's got too. Bentleys and shit like that. The house that he lived in that looked like something that you would cut. I don't think he lives there. Does he live there? I don't, think he, the there? I don't right. think he lives there. There's no way anyone lives in that house. All right. The, the, the uh, downstairs of that house, this is the best part. The, the house that's next to this garage. I mean, garage shop, is a, yeah. garage is a, is a, it's a very soft term for that. But anyway, that house is like, did you go in the house? No. Oh my God. <laughs> so you go in, it looks like a regular house, but you go in and the front porch is full of boxes of subwoofers and nonsense. And then you go in and the two down, so there's like stairs in the middle that going up, you know, and then the, on either side, the two rooms that would be like a living room or a kitchen or whatever are just, they're like showrooms, like, and not good showrooms. Just like, <laughs> He's got like, you know, speakers mounted on the walls and shit like that. So it's not a house. Right, it's uh, not like where he lives. Oh, okay. It, the house is like, and it's just boxes everywhere. So it's like where they work out of. I and mean, it's something just bathroom out of, there. Something out of Too Fast, Too Furious. Well, the funny thing is, like, so, so the reason why I knew he had all those cameras was when I went in to to find the dude in the first place. Um, you walk in and he's got all these, um, like the roof mounted. Uh, you know, LCD screens or whatever, you know, for like DVD players. Well, he's flip, got the flip screens. Yeah. He's got them all mounted like on the roof and, and they're hooked to his cameras. So he's like watching his property all the time. Ooh. Oh, so yeah. he's completely mentally unstable. Yes, absolutely. And- well, it's in the middle of Bridgeport. There's fucking nothing around. I'm not sure why he's so worried about it. I told you. That, that area nuts. is fucking creepy. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah but, but really- now they're, they're building all these warehouses down there. There's the Target warehouse there. Oh uh, yeah, that pays like twenty four an hour. Oh, really? so Target, yeah, Target is now trying to steal from Amazon. Good luck, good luck, Target. <laughs> you are you are playing with the devil if you if you think you're going to beat out fucking astronaut Bezos, <laughs> astronaut Bezos, aka Doctor Evil. Did you see that ship? Oh my the, god, the blue the the blue penis that the, went up in the space, whatever it was called, the blue generation. I don't know what it was called, but holy shit, isn't it crazy? Back in the day, it was countries racing to get to space. Now it's rich. Assholes. Rich white people. Right. Right. Who's trying right. to get the, the, three, the three main guys that benefited from from everyone else losing their fucking life savings during fucking the COVID are like, you know what? I'm bored with my money. Let's go into fucking space. It's because I want to go. I want to see what outer space is because I'm. Oh, wow. It's flat. <laughs> <laughs> That took a that took a second. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking Bezos. <laughs> yeah. I I first and, off, Jeff Bezos is Doctor Evil. He's got the he's got the penis rocket. He looks like Doctor Evil. The penis rocket. It looks like it. It looks like a giant wang. Pay attention. <laughs> and the Virgin Mobile guy. Like who the fuck has Virgin Mobile? Well, he he does phone. He like, yeah, but not <laughs> not here. He's right. not Virgin Vir- Mobile, was- though. It's Virgin Megastores. He originally started with, with uh, uh, it was like an FYE oh. and a... Uh, yeah, mm. Virgin's, Virgin's like nothing here, but I think overseas, oh, overseas it's still huge, huge, right? Like in, huge. Oh. Uh, oh. You know, there are other countries besides the U.S. of America. Yeah, the world, you know, <laughs> it's not it's not just the United States in a big circle. I mean, <laughs> I've been to North know, Jersey it's once. The United States, and then just a big flat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. New, uh, United States actually floats above everything else. 
It's uh, the parallel universe. It's an alternate dimension in that they said about before in the past. So wait. <laughs> Is it flat or not flat? I'm it's confused. Not fucking flat. It's definitely flat. There's no ice no. wall like fucking Game of Thrones. <laughs> it is not flat. Why are you making me yell? I don't yell. <laughs> Why are you making me ice yell? wall? <laughs> you think you got wildlings on the other side of that fucking thing? Oh, oh no! That's I'm sorry. End. You think that's you, the end of the level? If the ice you, wall. <laughs> <laughs> if you think the earth is flat, please unfollow, unsubscribe, and walk into oncoming fucking traffic. I swear to God. Come over to my house to beat you in the back of the head with a fucking tack hammer because that's also round. God, I hate them people. Or beat them with a flat shovel. I mean, that crazy guy, the crazy guy I was telling you about that took my, my $100 and then it, it, he went. So, what, what the whole point was, was that he went to, uh, we had that money. And then he moved to Puerto Rico the day before that hurricane and destroyed that uh, the destroyed San Juan, and I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> so, he's probably in space. Oh, with he's Bezos. he's got he's got my <laughs> money now. If I, if I ever see him, dear Lord, dear Lord, I don't even want to say because I don't want to incriminate myself. Did you have a hundred dollars? I put it back in the day when it was zero 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 point one three percent or whatever fuck it was. Oh, you're saying because you gave it to him and he should have. Uh, and then yeah. and then he fucking disappeared. 10 oh, years later. I missed the rest of your story. Yeah. Also, I thought you were saying that you were you should have done it. No, you were I did it. You did it. And I did it. And he fucking skipped. Skipped with your money. Yeah. Let's go find that motherfucker. I don't want to find him. <laughs> I don't want to find him. <laughs> I said, I'm six foot two fifty. That this man makes that the man's the size of your fucking thigh. It's Dan. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. Remember Dan who DJ'd your daughter's birthday party? Um barely. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh, it's that guy? That guy. Wait, do uh, you remember anything? No. <laughs> no, I do re- I barely remember him. Do you remember losing your virginity? Um, well, your mom was there, so <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking dead. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you cleared your throat? <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> so uh, it is bad. It is bad because I was on I was on a call with my coworker the other day, and I I was clearing, I was clearing my throat while he was talking, and I was like, "Ah, oh, Sam, I'm sorry." He's like, "I'm used to it." I was like, "Dude, really? Is that bad?" Dude, I do it. I do it, it often. This I, is yeah. the least you cleared your throat in as any podcast. The thing yeah. is, clear it for us. My do, dad, it. do it. My dad does it all the time. I it's it's like I have like post nasal drip or something. I don't know. Stop doing cocaine. That's what it is. I like yeah, c- 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 sure. cocaine. <clears throat> I wonder how many times you've done it in the podcast. If you go over oh, every episode, oh, I really, I, I think if it's possible, if I had the mental sanity to actually go through every fucking episode, I, I'm gonna just, just, it's just gonna be like a dance beat in the background. Just <laughs> that would be damn kids. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. Oh, I've been busy. And yeah. we'd actually, uh, and I've we'd, been busy. We'd actually get people listening to this podcast. <laughs> it, I swear, that probably wouldn't be. It. <laughs> Yeah, hey, Dan. Dan, do you get off being busy? Because every time I listen to the podcast, you're like, busy? "Yeah, I've been busy." I just imagine you rubbing your nipples while saying that. <laughs> yeah, so, I've been busy. So, thank you for reminding me, Ryan. Because I didn't say it this episode. Yeah, I didn't even say it. Got, Dan, got uh, so Dan. distracted because Ryan's here. You know, he wanted to talk about farts. You're like, oh yeah, I'm a bit busy, uh, Joseph. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, down. You been busy? Oh uh, yeah. You been busy? That's it. <laughs> Uh, do I? Do I? No. I mean, you been camping again this weekend. It's Joe's thing. Joe likes to talk about being busy. You know, you busy. You been busy. I'm always busy. See, the thing is, uh, especially uh, always busy. Mister Big Shot over here. No, it's uh, not even. I have a lot uh, of kids, and we do a lot of shit. Uh, 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 camping is not a lot of shit. You 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 you, you, you park your thing. And there's fucking trees. You shit next to a bear. You know? <laughs> you oh, I started a, a fire. <laughs> no, I mean we do we do a lot of things when we're. Camping. I made we don't breakfast just, for everyone. We just don't get. <laughs> Bastard, start the fire. I'm never going to feed you if we go camping because. No. Oh, I cooked dinner. I, for I don't know. Last time, you, last time you, we cooked on a camping trip, you, you made those those uh, uh, wings. Those uh, what are those wings? What I make? 
Oh, uh, tandoori chicken. Yeah, those tandoori chicken wings, which I can't eat tandoori yeah. anyway because, you know. Tashi brought the, the those tandoori good. chicken wings. You yeah. cooked them in the pitch darkness yeah, and, and then, completely undercooked. And they weren't cooked at all. Yeah. Uh, the, those I was drunk was, enough. They taste good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was fine. Yeah. That was a nice. We drank the rare, too. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh! You should come on to the Bald Bastard Sleepaway Camp when we do our oh, fantasy draft. Yeah, we're, we're, are we doing that? We're yeah, talking we're doing about it. doing. Yeah, we're talking about doing the fantasy football draft that weekend. Super close, doing like you know down the street from here, and uh, and camping that weekend. Yeah, so we'll go, we'll, we'll go Friday night. Manly, just the uh, manly, manly manly men. You know, Monahan can't do. Can we? Can meat, we get? Not a manly can man. we get Monahan to maybe make it on Sunday? No, no, no. That's the whole point of this trip. Is is I know, but I got I got another draft that night. Oh, um, I know, but I'm down. Mm-hmm. But if we can, are you down with the sickness? Are you going in person to that uh, draft? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. At, uh, so, Chicky so that's what but if it's right down the street, you could always come. No, I know, but yeah. I, I, it kind of takes away from the experience. Oh. I want. I don't know. Yeah. Well, but, uh, I guess it wouldn't matter. We're going to get drunk and videotape it. We're just going to get drunk and do stupid shit like we do. I want to videotape. Mon- I want Monahan to live stream in with us. Not even live stream, but like go through this app yeah. and just videotape himself. So I just want to see the frustration on his face. Just put it like a little corner screen as we're talking and doing our bullshit, <laughs> getting drunk. Like, ah, da, 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 da. they're just him like. The whole fantasy draft. And like, because we were so hammered. Oh, that last bad. fantasy draft it was bad, dude. Oh my god! Because we started drinking um, old fashions. Yeah, we yeah we started with old fashions at what like twelve o'clock. It was so early, so early, oh. way too early for an old fashioned. Yeah, you it guys was are never terrible, early. but you did pretty good this year. I did. I actually did. Pretty we got well. screwed over. Yeah, because fucking Pete had fucking Taysom Hill. Whatever yeah. That fucking, oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. Cheating, that. that cheating scandal. That cheating scandal. Yeah, no, I actually rich pretty, I, I probably won't do well this year, but oh, I, I don't actually care. <laughs> yeah, as you call it, my donation. This is my fifty dollars donation. <laughs> my donation. The, what every year? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, tr- I'm gonna try to do good this year. I won. Wow. I won last year. I know I you motherfucker. You eh. did win last year. I know. Yeah, let me let me borrow fifty bucks for this year. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all the money already. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put your a Prius. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure that three hundred fifty <laughs> bucks. What what that get you? You're still on your like your first tank of gas still? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's up there. That's crazy. I know. I, I I just did a trip up to up to Allentown this weekend. I, I was getting seventy one miles a gallon. Not bad. So I decided on my last camping trip. I figured you get a out, Prius. I figured out how oh. to. Yeah, I'm gonna pull a <laughs> fifty three hundred pound. Well, camper. the new Tundras are coming out. The 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 Toyota Tundras that are coming out this year. Yeah, they're supercharged V six hybrids. Whoa, that's cool. I, I mean, can't well, they fit all my the, kids in there though. The, I was just gonna say they have the F one fifty. That's whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I decided to figure out, you know, what my gas mileage was pulling the camper. Seven. <laughs> just out of just out of curiosity. Um, seven and a half. <laughs> what? <laughs> seven and a half. When we drove to New Hampshire, I had to stop for gas three times. I think three times. So when I drove to New Hampshire with the boobed bastard to see Ballyhoo, I had still had a quarter of a tank left. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> there and back? It's like... No, no. I got up there on three quarters of a tank of gas. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And I also drove it, like an asshole because I was just gonna say, fucking tractor trailer drivers or assholes. I-95 is fucking shit. It's probably yeah, with what, the Prius I got miles, something like that. The best, the best tank of gas I got was twelve hundred, and then the lowest was like seven something. I'm, so yeah, you I'm always aver- make out. I'm, yeah. I'm averaging seven hundred. Yeah. I was gonna say you're not gonna get. I don't really give a shit anymore because no. like if you, you already if, made your money. You're, yeah. you're already making money regardless. Exactly. If you get gas every two weeks, you're still fucking killing right. it. Yeah. I forget. I actually forget when I get gas. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, but, I forget when I got gas. I don't know, man. I don't know. You, I you s- fart a lot, so you got a lot of gas. I, s- I, s- <laughs> I start my car and I leave it running the driveway too long, and the gas gauge starts to get like this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even like it's like this big, you know, whatever. But it's a V8, and it's, it's terrible gas mileage. No, that really is bad. I, as for a Nissan, too, it's, I dude, expected to be better. No, well, no, it's because stupid. so one thing I've noticed with like any of these foreign cars, they're four cylinders and six cylinders, or, or fuel economic, uh, fuel economic, but. Their V8s, which are meant to pull and power and all that shit, they're like, no, you're paying for you're paying for the power. Like you're gonna pay for it one way or another. You're so, gonna pay for it one way or another. You're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. <laughs> just get a truck you're and just uh, shovel the kids in the camper. 
I wish I could Might do that. I do. You I could do. get a fucking airstream and just fucking. Well, I mean, they could go in the camper that we have. It's, it's just that's not legal. Why? <laughs> it's, well, it's only illegal if they don't know when to shut the fuck up. I mean, that's that's fair. You could literally <laughs> just you could literally go there, and as you're driving, you just tell them, "Kid, shut the fuck up." We got baby monitors and radios and walkie talkies. <laughs> you you have enough walkie talkies <laughs> from haunting lawns, and you could just sit there like, "Shut the fuck up!" and get him over. <laughs> oh, hey, officer, how are you today? <laughs> And that'll be the one time your 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 fucking infant like me. Yeah, the officer will come up. You'd be like, "You've been busy, sir," and you'd be like, uh, <laughs> "I've been busy." I've been busy. Uh, two fucking dicks. I've been busy, sir. <laughs> well, I know my way around New England. I can tell you that much. What seems to be busy, officer? <laughs> Not you. You're driving. Uh, <laughs> what seems to be busy? <laughs> You're you, fucking cool because you're busy all the time. How do you rate my nipples, officer? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there's Ryan. <laughs> there he is. Only took us 40 minutes. Uh, how do you rate my nipples? <laughs> oh, man, that, just, that, that just got really fucking awkward right there. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even have a sound effect for that one. There, I, there isn't one. That's That's the reason why you don't have one. <laughs> when in doubt, when it gets awkward and creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> but like, I mean, that's why. That's why. It's, that's what the one downfall of having children <laughs> is that you you can't like you know you, you can't, can't do all the things you want to do. Yeah, like stick kid, you know, just have them <laughs> shut up and sit in the fucking back of the goddamn of, of the stupid truck, you know. Yeah, make, the, you have to make sacrifices. Yes, you're right. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Hey, look, I don't, I don't care. You could matter. trade them in. Can you get some? Yeah, can you get, 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 get a new tried. model? If you trade them no. all at once, you can maybe get one. I Asian can't, baby. I can't get my money back. You know what I mean? Like the yeah, depreciation but, is like super fast. Yeah, but you, know? you could get an Asian baby. Trade them all in for one Asian baby. Well, They'll become have a to doctor. Trade multiple in for one. Right. Yes, that's then you possible. Get one that's a doctor. That's true. That's you know? true. Asian babies are cute though. No. Or maybe you'll get one that's good at Fortnite. <laughs> like like mega good, so they win Fortnite competitions. Gonna, it's good at Fortnite. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it, My kids went back to play. They're playing Fortnite now. Again, uh, they went back again oh, wow. to Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, it's like a it's like a cycle, man. It's like every couple of months they keep going back. Oh, uh, they love those stinky ass farts. <laughs> I'm dude. I'm telling you, it's weird. I don't know. Oh, I thought sure. they were off of Fortnite. They were playing Minecraft for a while. And I don't know. They're playing all kinds of random shit, but fucking all the game. I just bought now, a I bought a Switch the other day. Uh, did you really? I have yeah. a Switch. You have a Switch? Yeah. I have no games for. It. I have like Mario Kart. Hey, hey, that's the only one that matters. You guys trying to be best friends? Like you both have Priuses. You both have Switches. Like hey, I, had this, I had the Switch first. He had the Prius first. <laughs> Fair. I'm stealing your bitch. To be fair. Hey stealing, now. Stealing your bitch. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Back off my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough of Ryan to go around. <laughs> There's plenty of Ryan to go around, sir. Uh, oh, we have the same smoker, Ryan and I do. Oh, oh yeah. Do you, do you guys also touch tips when you're when you're together? Oh. No. He lights mine, I light his. It's not a big deal. <laughs> he lights mine, I light his. <laughs> yeah, we got a, we got a competition coming up. Joe, I can plug in your Prius. You can plug in mine. Oh, we're, gonna, oh, oh we're, we're doing some docking action here now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm all down with that. <laughs> Always down for that. Yeah. Always down for docking. Always down for docking. <laughs> it's a, a weird, like, visual when we talk about docking. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I do. I, I <laughs> you know, just you, you, you connect points. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cut though, so you'd have to dock into me. Yeah, I think most of Unless us you're cut too. So. <laughs> do we know anybody who's not circumcised? <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, fans out there, is anybody not circumcised? <laughs> yeah, I know for real. <laughs> like, are you? Are you? Ew. This I, is a little. This is. Uh, I don't know how two girls make love unless they like scissors. It's or called something. scissoring. <laughs> <laughs> There's it toys. Like, Strap on scissors. Scissor. Scissor. <laughs> Little double sided dongs and shit. Yeah, like, or they yeah, make yeah. these ones where it's like it's a strap on, but it's got like two things coming out, so you can like hit both at once. Little DP action off one action. Dang, right. give us a clear throat. <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't have any phlegm. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, on that note. <laughs>
<laughs> we're going to get out of here. Yep. Check us out online, YouTube, Barfing the Bats Brigade, Facebook, Barfing the Ball B. Uh, hit the swag store, uh, barfingthebatsbrigade.threadless.com. Uh, you can leave comments on our Facebook, I mean, actually on our uh, host site, anchor.fm slash BATVB slash message. And uh, give us stuff to talk about. Otherwise, we're going to get drunk and talk about fucking docking. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Which is great. Brian, thanks for hanging out with us, brother. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, you'll be See safe. See you soon. Peace. Doesn't this sound like Pantera? This Woo! definitely sounds like Pantera. Does Pantera ever relax? <laughs> Pizza bagels. My microphone's not on. <laughs> Let's just say out of beer out of here.